I was thinking when the season was starting, yeah, who will be the the guys in the in the top of the of the field? And for me, it was Kupens, Ragazzi, Simoni, me. I was I was hoping for me that I will be there. At the beginning, it was it was for sure Kupens, but then after race two, he he doesn't drive anymore, and yeah, I think. After the middle of the season, it was for sure Ragazzi. But I think it was not easy for him because at the first races, I, I do a, a small gap with the points of him. And then it was very difficult for him to close the gap. And yeah, it was for me only to not to win races, not to, to take the victories home, only to, to take the points home. It's not bad to win the races here. The nicest race this season, I think it was the second race in the Hungaro Ring because I heard that never one driver was doing the, a hat-trick in all the three races. So I think I was the first in the, in the history of Maserati. So yeah, it makes me really happy and yeah, it's not, it was not easy, but after race two, uh, after the second victory in, uh, in Hungaro Ring for race three, I was trying to, to win also race three, but I was thinking, yeah, it will be hard because I will take the 20 second penalty. But I was fighting and pushing every lap like a, like a crazy one to, to win also race three. And yeah, at the end, I was the first under the checkered flag. So me and my team, we was really happy for that, uh, for that goal that we do. Yeah, it was for sure it was uh, Hungaro Ring. The, it's difficult to say, but the horrible weekend in this season was for me, for a driver, for sure, uh, Silverstone. Because uh, two times or three times on the on qualifying P1, and then to to disqualifying two times, yeah, it's it's not easy for a driver because it was not my my fault that I do. It's strange to, to hear that things that I in the year of the centenary of Maserati. But I'm happy to, to read and to hear that things because now for the moment I'm like, yeah, okay, I won, but, but I don't not, not understand what, what happened now. I think in, in some time I will see in, in some books or, or, or television or somewhere that, yeah, it's, it's me that I won the, won the championship in the, in the centenary of Maserati. The, of the Maserati Gran Turismo is for sure like the, the lines of the car. The, the car has a really nice sound. And also it's, it's a nice car to drive because now in this year we have a bit more of, of aerodynamics, a bit more of, of grip in the, in the front. So you, it's more a, a race car. So even every year it's more like a race car. And, it was not easy, it's not easy to drive, but I like the style, how I, I have to drive the, the car. The Maserati Trofeo Championship, it's, it's a nice championship because you go around the world. It's really around the world. It, you have three races in Europe and three races in, in America, China and Abu Dhabi. So if you, I think if you can drive in, in all, all around the world, for, for that price that you have to, to spend to race, it's a chance to, for every driver. It's, it's amazing to, to drive here in Abu Dhabi or in China or also in America. Like here with Maserati and it's more, I think, more a, a big family to drive because we all, the, the people, we, we know us and we have a lot of fun, not only with the team, also with all the other people from Maserati. So it's like a, it's like a big family, but when the, the race will start, it's it's like in, in every championship. It's yeah, the fastest will win, and yeah, you have a lot of fights. But it's nice to be here, also to be a part of the of the Maserati family, and yeah, it's really nice. I think it was uh, it was the whole season it was amazing. Only that word I can explain with with one word uh, the whole season. <laughs>